So this is an uh, opportunity here for us to uh, do some additional identification uh, issues. So I want to welcome you here. My name is Rick Cooper, I'm the field manager of uh, the Hollister Field Office. And it's our responsibility for managing the Clerk uh, Rick Management Area. I'm going to turn this meeting over to Sky Murphy, our environmental planning and coordinator for the Hollister Field Office. He's going to run through some of the, the uh, basics of planning so that uh, you have an idea of how to participate in, in this process that we're starting. And then we will uh, we'll move on to uh, some other activities this guy has Thank you. Can everybody hear me? Really? No. 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 Okay. Well, um, I think we will attempt to have everybody hopefully here and be able to participate uh, in the discussion tonight. I was trying to make sure this microphone is better than that one or I can make the adjustment if necessary. But um, first off, I do want to welcome you all and uh, thanks Rick for allowing this to happen. Uh, this really is something that we do to encourage everybody to get involved in the planning and to hopefully uh, support and understand the decisions that we have to make here uh, regarding Clear Creek. I understand uh, that I had a chance to speak with some of you at the meeting last week in Santa Clara. There's probably many other folks who didn't get to go to that meeting. And we understand that there's a lot of folks here who do have concerns and want to discuss the temporary closure of Clear Creek and the EPA's risk assessment, which I reassure you will be possible. But this meeting is a scoping meeting and we have uh, other goals and objectives tonight. We want people uh, to work proactively, encouraging everybody to get into groups to address in the Clear Creek Management Area, RMP, and EIS. Briefly, the agenda uh, includes a hopefully 20 minute presentation here. Uh, then we'll get into the workshop exercise and small group discussions for about an hour and then we will reconvene and hopefully hear back from some of the uh, groups or leaders amongst us tonight about what we've been able to discuss and come up with and maybe the next steps in the process. Um, I encourage people to ask questions during this presentation to clarify anything that I've said, but it should be brief and I may be able to answer your questions uh, once I get to the end of this presentation and or during the group discussions, we'll have ample opportunity to talk with BLM manager Rick Cooper. We have the assistant field manager George Gill here. We have many other Hollister Field Office staff as well uh, to help support this discussion and hopefully create some ideas about how we can approach the issues uh, that we all have come to discuss tonight in the third Again, uh, the purpose of tonight's meeting is to identify those issues and alternatives, looking at many of your questions and the uncertainties regarding some of the information that's been presented by EPA or the uh, questions about BLM's decision-making process. Having said that, it won't be a typical scoping meeting because uh, we do have a unique group of stakeholders here that are knowledgeable about issues and about the RMP EIS process. So I want to assure you that we'll be looking at some of your hard-hitting questions that we've heard uh, through conversations and at the meeting in Santa Clara. But first I want to ask that you let me present some basic planning concepts that will help explain what we hope to accomplish tonight and throughout this planning process. Um, I won't be going over every detail, and I hope that everybody has a copy of the handout of the slides in this presentation because this packet really will support the discussions later. It has some instructions, some questions, something to get the groups going, uh, looking at the issues that are important to all of us. But having said that, uh, you know, we do live in a democratic society and laws are passed by Congress who are our elected representatives. Examples are here and everywhere around us. Um, it's just a good idea to keep some of these legal requirements in mind when considering how we approach preparation of an RMP and an EIS. Um, some basic concepts. 
public trust doctrine is a principle that certain resources are preserved for public use and that the government is required to maintain them for public's reasonable use. Uh, there is significant association between this doctrine and land use policy and natural resources law. Uh, public interest is something that we also have responsibility to consider uh, when going about making land use decisions. Uh, there's little, if any, consensus on what exactly constitutes the public interest, and that's why we are happy to see so many folks here tonight, hopefully get a broad discussion of issues. Um, and while many of us are aware that information and technologies are spreading rapidly, along with our population here in California, uh, large systems, especially government systems, are historically slow to respond to situations and trends. Uh, this is because we have checks and balances in our system. It's also because science and policy are being developed to address emerging issues, and it's the challenge of local officials and the communities involved to uh, communicate and try to create awareness and understanding of public land issues and the BLM's decision-making process. So again, that's really why we're here and encourage to see everybody out. Um, I know there's been a fair amount of BLM management in the past, some of it fair, some of it perhaps not deserved, but all differences aside, we do have a common interest in management of Clear Creek, and it's in everyone's best interest uh, to try and be open-minded, be respectful as we develop a long-term solution to the conflicts in this particular uh, piece of public land. Again, some basic concepts here about environmental problem solving to set the stage for the next activities that we'll be getting into. Uh, I'm hoping to explain how we're going to have people tonight engage in the discussion about your questions and about the information everybody would like to see addressed during this process. Uh, first off, I don't know if anyone who come in, my name is Sky Murphy. I am the environmental planning specialist for the Officer Field Office, so it's largely my responsibility to coordinate these public involvement, public meeting activities, and uh, lead the preparation of the RMP and the EIS, so I will be a major point of contact for all comments and questions as we go through this process. And that's, again, why I'm trying to introduce some of these basic concepts so that we can hopefully apply this model of environmental problem solving tonight and then as we move forward through this process. Uh, generally, when we approach a land use conflict or battle, or whatever you want to call it, uh, we have three major elements being folks who are affected in the community. We have the policy that BLM uses to resolve conflicts and we have the science and the information that uh, we must consider and weigh in with the rest of these components. Uh, and again, we'll try to use this model tonight. Remember these colors as they will be part of the exercise where we're trying to have everyone get the opportunity to discuss questions that are on your minds and uh, really get into the type of community organization that helps us get to a, a decision that everybody can support and at, at a minimum hopefully understand why uh, BLM uh, use this certain process uh, uh, to make decisions. So um, this is BLM going around the community, around the science, around the policy, doing a little headstand, all that good stuff. 